Today we're going to practice using the distributive property to help with our mental math skills. When we first started learning about the distributive property, we used an area model like this one to help us make our calculations. So I'm going to put our 7 off to the side. And this 52 I can decompose into a 50 and a 2. Now, if you remember, we would take 7 times 50 and 7 times 2 to find the area of both smaller rectangles. 7 times 50 is 350. 7 times 2 is 14. And if we add them together, we will get the answer of 364. 364 is 7 times 52 with the help of the distributive property. All right, on this one, I'm going to put the 9 off to the side. I'm going to decompose my 71 into a 70 and a 1. The area of our first rectangle, it's a 9 by 70. And if I multiply that, I get 630. My second rectangle is a 9 by 1. That's an area of 9. If I add them together, my answer is 639. Using the distributive property, I multiplied 9 times 71 and got 639. So let's see what happens when we have two digits times two digits. Now, I could choose either of these factors to be off to the side. I'm going to go ahead and put the 13 over here because I feel that decomposing the 22 into a 20 and a 2 might be easier for me to work with. So the area of this rectangle, which is a 13 by 20, would simply be 260. The area of my second rectangle, rectangle, which is a 13 by 2, is going to be 26. And together, the total area is 286. So I found 13 times 22 with the help of the distributive property. It equals 286. All right, I want you to try this one on your own. Go ahead and pause me. See what you can do. And when you're ready to check me, go ahead and replay. All right, again, I can use either factor off to the side. I'm going to choose to put 21, but I could easily have used the 12 there instead. I'm going to decompose my 12 into a 10 and 2. The area of my first rectangle is a 21 by 10, or 210 is the area of my first rectangle. My second rectangle is a 21 by 2, so the area of that one is 42. And together, my answer is 252. 21 times 12 is 252. So the goal of this is for you to be able to do these in your head. So I want you to try this one without a model and in your head. When you're ready, I want you to come back for checking. All right, so I can easily see this one um, as a 6 times 50 and a 6 times 4. I decomposed my 54. 6 times 50 is 300. 6 times 4 is 24. Together, it's 324. Did you come up with 324 in your head? If you did, excellent job. All right, here's our last one. I want you again, try this one without the model. Try to do it in your head, and when you're ready for checking, come back. All right, I'm going to decompose this 31. So I'm going to do 15 times 30 and 15 times 1. 15 times 30 is 450. 15 times 1 is 15. And together, that's 465. Did you get 465 for your answer? Good job. 